Hi everyone, Brock here with America's Gun Store. Today we're going to look at how to measure yourself to get the best fit for Triple K drop belts. While we're always happy to exchange belts for a better fit, getting the right fit the first time is much better. That way you don't have to spend the extra time and money to exchange the belt for one that fits. Now every company makes drop belts, they have a different way of measuring them, and Triple K is no exception. Some outfits measure along the curve of the belt, while others measure straight across. Some companies base it on your pant size, others base it off of your hip size. It's further complicated because nothing else we wear is quite like a drop belt, so it can get confusing very, very quickly. So first things first, don't order a Triple K drop belt based on your pant size. If you do, you're very likely going to end up with a belt that's too small. For example, I'm currently wearing 32 inch waist pants. If I were to order based on that measurement, I would end up with a small, which Triple K labels from 28 to 33 inches. But, as you can see with this small, it doesn't even reach all the way around my waist, let alone allow me to buckle it. It's because this is going to be over all of my clothes, so it needs to be a bit bigger. What we're going to do is measure around the widest part of my hips. And if I pull that around there, I'm going to get right at 39 inches. So not based off of pant size, based off of a hip size. So we're going to base how I would order my belt on that 39 inches. Okay, you say. So that sounds like it's pretty easy. Should be a large, right? After all, Triple K labels their large from 38 to 43 inches. And I measured 39. Well, if I were to put this large belt on, you can see it's going to fall right off me. And that's because we haven't accounted for the angle of the drop belt. So whatever we measured, we're going to subtract 3 inches from. So I measured 39. We're going to have 36 after I subtract those 3 inches. And I'm going to order based on that size. So for me, that would give me the correct size as being a medium. And I'll put this medium on here real quick, and you'll see that it's going to be a perfect fit for me. Get snugged up there good. I end up being in the third loosest hole. If each of these holes represents the inches between 33 and 38, you would expect me to be in that 36 hole based on 39 minus 3, and that's the exact hole that I'm in. Now, it may vary a little bit from person to person, because we're all shaped a little differently, but it doesn't usually vary much more than one hole. This can get a little tricky if your measurement works out to 38 inches, say. The medium size ends at 38 inches, the large starts at 38. Which one should you pick? Well, if you're going to be wearing the belt over a coat or winter clothing, go with the larger size. Just over your jeans, go for the smaller size. There's even a tiny portion of the population that won't fit into either, and we have to switch them into a straight belt. Even though Triple K's drop and straight belts have the same me measurements for length, you might wear different sizes. Because of that 3 inches we subtracted from the angle of the drop belt. I'm one of those people. I wear a medium when it comes to a drop belt. I wear a large in a straight belt. So, there you go. The best way to measure yourself for a Triple K drop belt, measure over top of your clothes, straight across, subtract 3 inches, and order based off of that number. As always, if you have any questions, you can get in touch with me at americasgunstore.com or by calling 800-292-3811. Take care. Have a fantastic day.